watching Kimberly keeping it real, hot like fire. Hey, Yashima, Kimberly keeping it real, hot like fire. Semi-pro basketball for Buffalo Warriors. He plays semi-pro football. My cousin Nakari. He plays football. Shout out to Josiah. Um, Sigma Beta fraternity. Shout out to Howard, um, our advisor, uh, uh, Stefan. For entertainment, um, we're just trying to stay focused, play ball, stay in school. Stay out the street. All right. Hi, mom. I'm on TV. I'm on TV. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Shout out. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Yes, yes, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath, what? Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good for us to be out here. It's good for us lifting up the name of Jesus. No matter what we go through, we have the opportunity. If we have breath in our bodies, activity of our limbs, we in our right mind. We have the ability, it is a blessing to lift up the name of the Lord. Amen? I'm so glad to be here. This is my husband, Willie H., and my children, and some of my members, and some of the Kimberly Keeping It Real supporters. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're coming out just to celebrate this um, Awareness Day, and it's beautiful. I mean, praise your holy name. Women are like the strongest thing here that's walking the earth. Amen. I love you, men, but I gotta give it up to the women. Big up to the women. Come holler back at the sister. Women is the strongest thing that's here. We support our men, we support our family, we raise our babies, we raise our grandkids, we raise our great grands in the mighty name of Jesus. Still working, still cooking, still cleaning, making it happen, and paying bills. You gotta be a bad sister to hold it down like that. Oh my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. But I just want to leave something today. God had put something in my heart. I'm a word chick. I'm going to say that again. I'm a word chick. I'm not from Buffalo. I've been transplanted, but God put me here for a reason. I was born in Washington, D.C., but I was raised in Uptown. All right, hallelujah. All right, I was born in uh, Washington, D.C., but I was raised in Uptown, which is Westchester County, which is a couple of um, minutes, maybe about 30 minutes out of the Bronx. But um, my husband always told me, tell me I was a suburban girl going bad because I had my little issues and oh, stuff yeah. like that. But God knows uh, uh, from the uttermost to the guttermost. Hallelujah. He know to check you from the uttermost to the guttermost. Oh, yeah. You can't get too high and you can't get, you can't get too low. That's right. He said he's so wide you can't get around him. Hallelujah. He's so high you can't get over him. He's so low you can't go under him. But John 10, 10 said you must come in at the what? At the door. God, in the mighty, don't let me start. Let me get started. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. But I was reading something early in the morning in my prayer time. 
And it's come out of Ezra 5. And I want to say this, I want to leave this with the women. No matter what you go through, especially if you go coming from the guttermost, there's always haters. Oh yeah. Haters. They never want to see you come out of where you were. Hallelujah. But I, I, I come today to tell you, break out. Break out. Break out. Do something different. Do something different. What that mean? When they want to cut you out, in the name of Jesus, if hallelujah. If they want if you if they want if the word I want to say, if they if they want you to engage with them. Don't even engage. Just bless them in the name of Jesus. Say God because you want to know something? Your haters are there to what? Buffet you and to strengthen you. Without that, you wouldn't know that you're getting stronger to go to the next place. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? If somebody is bothering you and somebody's talking about you, there'll be a time when you know it used to bother you. How do you know that you're going to the next place? Is that you can bless them and it don't bother you no more. Amen? Stand still. Amen? Amen? So Ezra 5, it talks about the haters. You got to read it. I don't want to go in detail. They were building the wall. For one small verse, it said, but the eyes of God was with them. Oh, my God, when I read that. But the eyes of God was with them. The Bible said the eyes of the Lord were to and fro to see whose heart is perfect towards them. If you live in the best way, you know how. And as long as we're in these bodies, we're going to be prone to error. We're going to make mistakes. Glory. That's what the grace and the blood of Jesus is for. Come on now. Not that we continue in sin, because Romans says we should not continue. God forbid we should continue in sin. But if you know in your heart that you're doing the best that you know how to do. Yes. Come on now. Talk about it. Then the Spirit of God is with you. Oh yes, all and if the you time. Lead, if you if you leech on to him, that's the word I want to say. Just you know, if somebody's a leech on, you can try to shake it off. You know how you try to shake a leech off and it won't come. You gotta literally take it and pull it oh, off yeah. of you and throw it back in the water. You gotta leech on to God like that. That's right. And if you're doing all you know how to do to live right, I speak this: the Lord thy God is with you, even when you make mistakes. Dust yourself off. Stand still. Tell the Lord I'm sorry. I repent in the name of Jesus and keep on walking with the Lord. You know how that word, you know that word we say in the street? Don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop, get it. I'm not going to stop to hear nothing you got to say negative because I don't want to entertain you because I'm getting, I'm trying to get something from God. I'm trying to get from point A to point B. So when you see me next year, you still at A, I'm at C. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the eyes of God. The eyes of God. When the eyes of God and the presence of the Lord is with you, you can conquer and you can do things that you normally would not be able to do. The lady stood up here and said, I've been through a whole lot, but I'm still standing. Why? Because the eyes and the presence of God is with her. Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust him at his word. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I just want to leave, just want to give you a little snippet. I got the eyes of God with me. I got the presence of God with me. Yes, Lord, I'm going to make mistakes. Yes, Lord, I'm going to stumble. But when I'm weak, I'm strong. And I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Kimberly keeping it real, coming at you, hot light fire. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All y'all can do better than that. You got the word, and you got more word, and you got Kimberly keeping it real, coming to you, hot light fire. Amen. Amen. Kimberly keeping it real, hot light fire. All right, sweet.